my sewing vlog, The Seaside Sewist. I'm Natalie and this is my very first Friday Sews. So I love watching other vloggers Friday Sews community so I thought that I would join in. And I've got some really good exciting things going on in my sewing world. So what I will start with is um, last Wednesday I held my very first sewing social. So this is at a community centre called Grangefield Community Centre in Stockton in the northeast in Teesside. And the run up to it was a little bit stressful, making sure that I had everything that I needed, that everyone was going to have what they needed. Um, and it was just the best day. Um, everyone had an absolutely amazing time so I'll put some pictures and footage in of the day. There was eight of us in total on the first day. Everyone got on with each other straight away. There was lots of chatter. There was food. There was a massive swap table. It was just everyone got on really well and they were just helping each other and giving each other tips and inspiring each other in in their makes so it was a lovely day i'd taken on a little local catering company to me called coastal bakes which is um they're based in red car so i'll link them down below because they they do actually specialize in sort of like cookies and and baked goods but they do also do lunches so about 12 o'clock so the day was 10 till 4 and about 12 o'clock um the lovely emma and her husband turned up with the food and it was amazing so i'll put some pictures in of that we had falafel wraps we had pasta salad it was just lovely fresh um really delicious food and she came and she set it all up it was all set up so lovely and we actually stopped all gathered our chairs around and sat and had lunch and a chat about the sewing bee and a bit of info on ourselves and things like that so that was lovely um i said i was going to set up a swap table um where you can bring things to swap or if you haven't brought anything and you want to take something just donate some money to charity so we have set up our first charity which is for cancer research uk and once the donations get to 50 pound they will then be donated and um we'll pick a new charity so i did get that idea from tamlin from sewing on the time this whole social was through tamlin because i was just so inspired by saw tomb that I wanted to set up something in my local area because we don't have anything here. So that was amazing. And then before we know before we knew it, before we knew it, it was four o'clock and it was time to tidy up and I literally had to kick them out. But before they left, every single one of them was like, right, when's the next one? And they've all signed up for the next one. So that I think that made it a success. So off the swap table, I got some really interesting items. So the first pattern I picked up off the swap table was this New Look 6197, which is um, a universal shirt pattern. Um, I bought it more so to make like this type of shirt here for my dad. He likes to wear sort of an, an easy, relaxed shirt like that. So I picked that up. And then I saw this Butterick B6332, which is like, um, well, it's a few different pieces really, but it's, I bought it more so for the little jacket. So it's the, there's a jacket, there's a dress, there's a skirt, and there's actually some trousers. Um, but I wanted to make a jacket like this, which is sort of very sort of Chanel-esque. And then there was some fabric on the fabric table that I thought, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to have to have a go at this. And it's this. It's, I think it's a boucle or it's, 
if anybody knows what it is let me know but it's like a tweedy bootleg and it's got a black base and it has all these colours running through it and it's actually a little bit different on the inside so it's that sort of pattern so I'm sure you could use it both ways actually so when I got home I thought I'm sure I've seen like a Chanel jacket in this sort of fabric and I found it and it is um, a vintage jacket and I'll pop a picture in of it you could actually buy this and it's being pre-owned and it's £2,600 so I'm, I'm wanting to try to recreate the look so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at that so that'll be great so I got that off the, the swap table which I thought was fantastic it was really really good so yeah absolutely fantastic day had by all um yes the first one was hard work to set up it was quite stressful but we are on our way now so the next one is Wednesday the 16th of August and that's from 10 till 4 um, it's £35 a person and you get a lunch provided. Tea, coffee, um, loads of sweet treats during the day. I have got a date for a Sunday one, um, which is Sunday the 10th of September. And it's the same again, 10 till 4, £35 each with a lunch. Um, but I am only going to do that one if I get a certain amount of people. Um my weekends if i'm off for a weekend is to spend with my husband and i'm i've i've gone out on a limb thinking i'll see how many takers i get for a weekend one um it is looking unlikely at this moment in time that i'm going to go ahead with that so and i'll just try and grow the wednesday ones and maybe look at the weekends again in in the new year if you want to attend any of those just um either leave a comment here or go over to my Instagram that I've set up for the socials called Sewing North. So it's at sewing underscore north. Um, and I can give you more information about the day there. Right, the next thing. The next. <clears throat> so the next thing that I acquired is Tamlin from Sewing on the Tine was having a de-stash and this fantastic pattern that i didn't get into at the time when it was released was on her d stash so this is the tilly and the buttons mani and i'm more interested in this dress version here with the long sleeves and kind of in the same colorings as um what the model has on there for the winter to wear with tights so very much what she's wearing here um so i've got that so that's going to be sort of going into my autumn makes that one and then a lovely little new business popped up on instagram the other day called so dreamy and i picked a couple of bits up off there now she sent a lovely little note and these lovely little liberty lavender sachets with thank you on which i just thought was a lovely touch so i've been wanting to buy these for ages and i've literally i've just made a dressing gown that had the little belt loops that i just couldn't turn so i've had to use ribbon instead but i think these are going to be a game changer so these are the prim turning set so you get three sizes so this very thin one here would have been perfect for that but i'm sure i'll make another one because i'm loving that dressing gown at the minute so i've got those I've had a little prim iron which is sat just there for a long time and I usually just stand it on the desk and it fell off once and singed the carpet so I've trekked myself to this little iron rest so I've got that and then I bought a meter of this amazing fabric so I think it's a linen and I just thought it was lovely and bright. It's a bit, it looks like toucans. I'm not sure whether it actually is. 
I wonder if it just looks like that. I'm not actually sure. It sort of plays with your eyes a bit. So I got a metre of that and I'm just going to make something like a Donny shirt or Stevie top or something like that. So, so that was supporting again a lovely little business. So I'm going to put that into pre-wash. I'm going to hold on to the Chanel fabric because I don't know whether I should actually pre-wash it or not or like ever wash it. Um, so if you've used something like that before, uh, did you pre-wash it? Let me know. And then some more exciting news. Since I've started dressmaking, so four, five, six years ago, my confidence and my self-esteem has grown. And last November, I got together a little group of, of sewing friends that had never met each other before, didn't have many sewing friends, and we all met as a group, and we all meet quite regularly now. And I think nothing of getting onto a train and literally going all over the country and meeting new people and doing new things. So in October, we were going to Saw Brum um staying over um literally just booked my ticket for the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show but this what I'm about to tell you is massively massively out of my comfort zone but I'm okay with it and I'm really excited so Donna from Size Me Sewing I've known about this for a little while but it kept popping up on my Instagram and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And it's a French sewing retreat. Yes, you heard me right, France. So you literally get on a flight and they pick you up at the airport in France and you go, I'm not even going to try and pronounce um, the town where it's at. <laughs> so I'll put some information in or a little snippet of it here and you literally go and have two and a half days of sewing you get lunch provided there's a welcome meal on the first night you get afternoon tea one day and I've booked that I just I can't believe I've actually done it you know I was sort of a couple of days I was saying to my husband I might do it I might not, I might do it, I might not. And I think it's not the cheapest thing to do. Um, but I thought that the flights in the hotel would be a lot more expensive than what they were. So I thought, I did my research like I do with everything and I looked into some of the recommended hotels um, and it was just really reasonable and the flights are Ryanair, so... I wouldn't choose to usually fly with Ryanair, but um, the flights were for nothing. So next July, I am going to France on a sewing retreat by myself, by the way. I don't know anybody else within that group. I think Donna said about a month before, she set up a WhatsApp group so you can chat to people. So it's more than likely that the fly from two airports, the fly from Leeds Bradford, which is where I would go from, and there's another flight from Stansted. <clears throat> and now I've been speaking to a lady um, that I know is getting on the Stansted flight. So I'm kind of in talks with one lady that I know is definitely going, and she's going by herself as well. Um, I might find that close to the time there's one two three people going traveling from leeds bradford and the sewing community is so lovely that it's probably we will probably then all meet and just be together for the entire time anyway so massively out of my comfort zone um it's one thing getting a train by yourself i know some people i don't even like doing that um but my husband will drop me off at Leeds Bradford Airport on the Monday and I'm going to have to check in by myself and go through security and find the gate that I need and get on my plane. So a lot of the things that I already do quite often, 
because we are quite well travelled. <clears throat> I'm then going to be doing those by myself. But um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I am. Once I'd booked it, I was then like, right, I am excited now. Um, and I think you've got to be really unlucky in life to go to something like a sewing retreat and be totally ignored by people. I don't think it's going to be like that at all. Um, there might be groups of people that are going as their group, but I know for a fact that at least one person is like me and they don't know anybody, so that's fine. So it's take a look at at the retreat there's three dates i think this year sold out now but there's three dates for next year there's june there's july which is the one that i'm going on and then there's an august one um but it just it looks fantastic and the little town where you stay is literally i think it's it's in the back of beyond it's kind of you know just a little town but it looks so pretty and there's a river running through it and i'm just very excited to go so that is my news so that is was my first friday souls let me know what you think um i am actually i got up really early this morning to film this to try and fit it in so, somewhere in this busy life so i am actually now going to get changed and go to work so I need to end it there. So please give me a like, a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and please subscribe. I am about 70 subscribers away from a thousand, a thousand subscribers. I remember when I was on like five subscribers. Um, so we may do a little bit of a giveaway when I get to a thousand. What do you think? Hmm, I'll have a think about that. But until next time, bye.